Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and today I thought I'd show you guys this Enhancer 2000 disk drive that I just got in for my Commodore 64 computer. The Enhancer 2000 disk drive was released by the Comtel Group in 1985. It was discontinued in 1986. The original price of the Enhancer 2000 disk drive was $199. Uh, the drive is incompatible with most fast loaders. Okay, a lot of times you'll find the Enhancer 2000 disk drive without a power supply. And that's, uh, that's what happened to me. Um, uh, someone gave me this disk drive, and, but it didn't have the power supply. So I did some research on it, and what I'm showing here is a picture, a printout, of the power supply that is supposed to go with the drive. And notice the pinout. We have plus 5 volts at 1 amp on pin 1. We have ground on pin 2. We have no connection on pin 3. <clears throat> and we have plus 12 volts DC 500 milliamps on pin 4. And it's a 4 pin DIN connector. Okay? All right. Okay, here we have uh, a Commodore power supply for the 1541-2, 1571 2 and 1581 disk drive. And if you notice, it too is a 4-pin DIN connector. Okay? Pin 1 is 5 volts DC, 1 amp. Pin 2 is ground. Pin 3 is no connection. And pin 4 is plus 12 volts at 500 milliamps. So it's the same exact power supply. I mean, even the case and everything is exactly the same. So Commodore did not make these power supplies. I believe that this DVE company not only made the power supplies for the Enhancer 2000, but they also made the power supplies for the Commodore disk drives. Okay, so if you ever get one of these rare Enhancer 2000 disk drives without a power supply, well now you know. You can just use a Commodore power supply with it and it'll work just fine. All right, let's take this drive apart. But before I do that, I want to show you uh, the front of the drive. That's uh, the front. Um, this here, the green LED is your power LED. The yellow LED is your error LED, drive error. And of course, the red LED is disk activity. Okay, and it's got like this kind of push down lever. You stick a disk in there, and then you squeeze it again and releases it. It has that kind of a lever. I don't know how good that mechanism is. It's a Shinon drive. The drive in here is a Shinon, the Shinon mechanism. So, anyway, there's um, the back of the drive with the power switch and your two serial ports and your power connector. Okay, and then there is the bottom of the drive. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the label better. 
you know, there's the bottom of the enhancer to uh, our 2000 disk drive. Okay, and let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. And then center this. All right, camera. Yeah, this way you can read the label. Just in case, you know, you're interested in, in the label, you know, there it is. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this drive apart, shall we? Yeah, the Enhancer 2000 disk drive is actually considered a rare disk drive for the Commodore 64. It is a rare disk drive. All right, I'm going to take out the K-screws first. They're machined, machine screws, fine thread, and there are brass, uh, there are threaded brass inserts in the plastic case, which is really nice, very nice. So as long as you're not, you know, over tightening, you shouldn't have to worry about stripping, you know, ever stripping out these, these threads. I wish Commodore would have done that on their drives and on, especially on the Commodore 64 computer. I wish they would have uh, used like machine bolts, you know, or screws with uh, threaded brass inserts in the plastic. There are also, well, let me see. I'm going to dump these screws out for some reason. They're not coming out. They should. should come right out. should just fall out. Okay. Yeah, they should fall out now. Okay, there's three of them. There's four of them. Okay, that's the case screws. I'm going to put them over here. That's the case screws. Now, the drive screws, um, they're the same. They're the same screw. And there's four drive screws. four drive screws. Okay. So, we'll dump those out too. There's four of those. I'll put those over here separate. Even though they're the same type of screws or bolts as the case bolts or screws, I like to keep the screws separate. Alright, so let's... Uh, Take the lid off, shall we? It just comes straight off like that. And there is the drive, drive mechanism. Like I said, it's a Shinon drive, a Shinon drive mechanism. And uh, there's the in inside of the drive, right there. Okay, so the cable, um, unplugs from the circuit board like that, okay, and then it just comes out like this, okay. So, as you can see, um, it is a Shinon drive. It's a Shinon drive, Shinon mechanism. And there's the bottom of the drive. Actually, I'll do it like this. Okay. I'll do it like that. And then, yeah. Okay. And um, it looks like it's direct drive, it's not belt drive, so that's nice. Um, God, look how big that stepper motor is. Man, that is one beefy stepper motor. <laughs> but yes, direct drive. Made in Japan. Yeah, this is this is a nice drive. 
it's uh, the Enhancer 2000 disk drive is actually a little bit faster than the 1541 disk drive. It, it really is. The only negative thing I can say about it is that a lot of your copy protected games uh, will not run on this drive. They won't work with this drive because they access the actual code that's in the ROM of a real Commodore 1541 disk drive. And if it doesn't find that code, which it won't in a third party drive, you know, the game won't load up. It won't load. So, yeah. And I think that was the reason why these drives were only made for about a year. And then the company just says, you know, we're not going to make them anymore because people just aren't buying them. And also, the drive sold for $200. And by this time, Commodore started reducing the price of the 1541 disk drive to also around $200. Bucks. So this company couldn't compete with Commodore. You know, so they basically stopped producing this drive. And that's the reason why the Enhancer 2000 is one of the is considered one of the rare drives for the Commodore 64 uh, computer. Okay, so that's the bottom of the drive. And you can easily remove the faceplate by removing these bolts here in case you want to you know, wash the faceplate. You're trying to refurbish this drive and make it look new again. You know, that's how you remove the um, the faceplate. And it's a single-sided drive, like the original. You know, 1541 disk drive. It's a single-sided um, drive. So, yeah. Um, I think it'd be best to, if you want to like clean the heads, I, I always just use a head cleaning disc. It's the easiest way to clean drive heads. Just use a head cleaning disc. You know, with the drops that you put the little liquid drops, five drops on the uh, the little opening. You know, you stick the disc in, close the lever, you use a program to work the drive head, and, and that's a really good way of cleaning the drive heads. That's how I clean my disc drive heads. I don't use cotton swab and alcohol and all that stuff. I don't do that. Okay, that's how I would do it. But yeah. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and put the drive over here. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the circuit board. Okay, we'll take a look at the circuit board. In fact, yeah. Anyway, it's interesting the way this drive is made. Um, for those of you that have one of these and you're thinking about recapping it, it looks like there's only four electrolytic capacitors on this board. So it'd be an easy, quick recap. You know, it has um, the same microprocessor and it looks like the same CIA chips that are in the 1541, okay, and this is the Enhancer 2000 disk drive's ROM right here. I think this is also a ROM. It's by Toshiba, and of course you got your support chips. I think one of these is probably RAM, because I know the disk drive has to have a little bit of RAM to work with. In fact, it might. This chip here might be the RAM. This chip right there might be the RAM. But I like the way they did the LEDs on the front here on a separate board. It's a very good quality drive, very nicely made. I mean, I like the way the Enhancer 2000 disk drive was made. And it's one of the only, I think it is the only third party disk drive that matches the Commodore, the bread bin Commodore 64's color scheme. You know, or very closely matches it. So, yeah, it's, it, I think it's a nice drive. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this Enhancer 2000 disk drive. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.